here we have a feature file dedicated to navigation tests, as you can see. We have these tests at multiple different stages and different variants of tests, as well as just to fill out this example for use case when it comes to tags. We begin by establishing a feature file level tag. In this case, since it is navigation, we will put this down as the core tag. This tag will encompass for all scenarios within the given feature file. As well as at a feature level, we can then proceed to start applying tags at a scenario level as well. This allows for great versatility when planning out what scripts to run, where and for what environments. Let's go through this now. We should begin by applying a pending tag for the first scenario, as, as you can see there is commented out steps and this is still being developed. So this pending tag will tell the runner not to execute this script when running the feature file due to it still being developed. This is specifically down to this configuration found in the wdi.conf file with the indication of not with the tag. Another way we could utilize these tags is for environments. So first scenario could be for the pre-prod environment and the following scenario could be for the prod environment. As such, when we want to run the tests for a given environment, we just utilize the corresponding tags to get the scripts that are required. We can also provide multiple tags so that we can have scripts, for example, for both environments, if we want for pre-prod and prod. A further use case for tags is applying them to the scenario outlines examples tables. This example here is around navigation and say, for instance, there is a slight change between desktop and mobile. We could have dedicated tags associated to the given examples table based on what device we want to run against. These tags can be quite useful from a, a few different levels as shown here for how we want to go about planning our test scripts when considering test suites and more specifically the runs we are after.